Hello everybody, Lurgs here. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to save you time and money. And today, how to clean your UPVC gutters so they stay clean. Right, let's get cracking. And this is the gutter here. And on the left hand side, you can see we've got lots of green algae and mold. And on the right hand side, this is what it's going to look like after we finish cleaning it. And it will stay clean for a long, long time. And this is the gutter that I'm going to be cleaning here. And I'm also going to clean the window frames and the window seal as well while I'm up there on my ladder. You can use a pressure washer to get that green algae off, but I don't like to because it's such high pressure. It can create leaks inside your house or conservatory. For today, I'm just going to use some standard car shampoo. This is wash and wax. And also I'm going to use a non-scratch sponge, which is white. Make sure you use a white one because you don't want the green one because that is going to mark your gutter. And make sure you use a non-scratch one because you don't want to scratch your UPVC guttering. And there's a link above now about what to do if your dishwasher is not draining water. Right, I'm up the ladder here, take your sponge and just start scrubbing away on the gutter. Now, depending on how long your gutter is, depends how much soapy water you're going to need. You might have to refresh your bucket, put some fresh clean water in there and some more wash and wax. So I'm just scrubbing this really good with my non-scratch sponge getting rid of all that green algae and mold. And this is the first part of our cleaning process. And there's a link above now about how to keep your washing machine hygienically fresh. It's definitely worth running that every 30 washing cycles. Obviously, I'm going to have to move my ladder along as I clean this gutter. And five minutes later, this is how the gutter and the window frames and the windowsill are looking nice and clean. The next stage is to just take a towel and just dry it all down, ready for the next stage after this. Now, if it's a nice hot sunny day, you shouldn't need to dry it off. Just leave it half an hour till it's nice and dry. I'm just going to use this towel just to make sure it's nice and dry, ready for the next stage. There we go. Right. And the next stage is wax. And now this is just standard car wax. So you're just going to need a nice white cloth and a nice white buffer just to buff off the wax. Now give this a really good shake before you apply it. Now I've just got this white sock here. I'll put it over my hand and arm. And just start applying this onto your UPVC guttering, onto your window frame and your window sill. Now you might need a few good dollops of this. Just spread it nice and evenly all over the UPVC. And whilst I'm doing that, there's a link above now about what to do if your curtains are sticking. There's a really good, easy fix for making your curtains slide really nice and smooth. So I'm just going to get all this car wax onto the windowsill now. Once you've applied it to the window seal, the window frames and the UPVC guttering, we are then ready for the final stage. Well, not the final stage, the very final stage will be having a cup of tea, of course. So you can see that the wax has put a nice film on there and now we just need to buff it off. Now just take a nice white fluffy buffer and just start buffing that wax off so it goes nice and shiny. Now, of course, what this does is obviously giving it a, a layer of wax. This will keep it really nice and clean for a long, long time. And whenever any water touches this, any rain, it will just fall off like it would off of a duck's back. Whilst I'm buffing this, there's a link above now about how to check your car battery with a multimeter. 
And here we go, look at this, looking absolutely fantastic. Now, if you compare this with the other side, which I haven't done yet, look at that, that is just a world of difference. Lugs, can you clean the rest of the gutters around the conservatory, please? I'll just pour some water on here, just so you can see the effect of it. It just drips straight off. And I'll tell you what, that definitely deserves a lovely cup of tea. If you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here so you don't miss more videos on how to save you time and money. There's also some other videos around the edges of the screen here. If any of those are useful to you, then you can select those now. Thank you for visiting my channel, everyone. I really, really appreciate it.